Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Brent Bates, and this is my Over the Fence Post segment. You know, last week uh, we talked a lot about the uh, Texas power grid and kind of what the failure was. And I want to kind of take, a, take that same lens and kind of widen it out and, and talk about what's wrong with the country. And the country's got kind of a, a power vacuum and kind of a power grid problem, but it's not necessarily the electrical power grid that's the problem. It's a leadership power grid that is the problem. And unfortunately, I think for decades, we've been allowing America to be sold down the river uh, one piece at a time by all of our leaders. And we've done that while we've been able to feast on cheap imports and cheap commodities provided us by the Chinese manufacturing concerns. Well, guess what? Now those Chinese manufacturing concerns are now taking care of the national grid uh, per a recent executive order by President Biden. They now own a lot of our farmland. They now own a lot of our infrastructure. They now own a lot of things that nobody has any idea that they own. You know, oil, power, uh, so on and so forth. And so basically what we've allowed ourselves to be done is, is slowly but surely dismantled and sold to the highest bidder, which happens to be predominantly the Chinese right now. Now, granted, we've sold ourselves to the, to the Russians. You know, Remember Hillary Clinton selling all of our uranium or a good portion of our uranium to the, uh, to the Russians and uh, how all that went down? Oh, yeah, we've taken pallets of cash and we've sent it to the Iranians um, under some supposed deal that was going to gain us peace. Um, and, of course, the former administration came in, took a hard line with the Iranians, uh, you know, canceled the agreement, uh, put a bunch of harsh sanctions on them, and we were making some serious headway. But guess what? We have a new administration, so now we're going to do a 180-degree turn and let them get back up again. You know, we now have executive orders that say that there's certain words that you can't say. You can't call it the, the China virus or the Wuhan, Wuhan virus. Um, you know, all of a sudden now we've got fruit inspectors. You know, everybody's going to go around and inspect everybody's fruit of their labors to decide, did you, did you get it from uh, this supposed white privilege or did you get it this way or that way? You know, surely there's some reason that you got it that somebody else didn't get it. And no, we don't accept the uh, comment of uh, you got it through hard work. You had to have screwed somebody over to get it. And so guess what? We're the government. We're the ultimate screwer. And we're going to take it away from you. And so now we're printing money left and right, hand over fist. Nothing about giving away trillions of dollars. You know, we can't even get the money out to the people that need it right now but we're doing gender studies over in Pakistan because we know those people need to have their LBGTQ, XYZ, or whatever the, the phrase is. They need all of those people to get a bunch of our money so that we can uh, help uh, bring them Western-style uh, mentality in regards to whether you're a boy or a girl. So we've got a power vacuum, just much like we had a power grid problem here in Texas last week. And the question is going to become, what are we going to do about it? Now, the interesting thing is, is that most of these people come from the highly populous areas, uh, and most of those people are too busy having their Starbucks coffee and, and reading their New York Times or whatever they read to assuage their great intellect that they don't really think and, and analyze and do any kind of critical thinking because they're too busy following the crowd over the cliff. I do have news for you. There are a whole bunch of us that live in what we call the flyover nation, all right? And just like Texas didn't uh, blow away just because we had an ice storm and we're without food or water or electricity for a week, um, there's a lot of the flyover nation that's not going to blow away. In fact, if one of our friends, like Joe Biden's favorite country, China, uh, decides to put a nuclear device into the atmosphere and create an electromagnetic pulse and knock out all of our grid. And the U.S. government estimates that 85% of the people will be dead in the first 18 months. I guarantee you the death rates will be almost 100% in all of the urban areas. And the less and less urban areas 
you're going to find that death rate uh, uh, goes down considerably because out here we know how to hunt, we know how to fish, we know how to can, we know how to pickle, we know what a root cellar is. Uh, and if we have to go back to the 1800s, uh, we're cut of the cloth that's going to make it. Correspondingly, if we don't have to go back to the 1800s and the intent of our power vacuum is to do nothing but uh, launch us into a civil war, which it seems to me to be the only thing they're trying to do with their, their new gun, proposed gun legislation and all the lunacy that's coming out of Washington, if their desire is to throw us into a civil war, I also have another warning for you. The people out in the flyover nation are going to win that war. And so just be aware of what you're asking for during this power vacuum. And I guess what we really all need to do is, is figure out who's counting the vote and make sure in 2022 only the real votes get counted. We'll talk to you next week over the fence post on the Wild West Crypto Show.